Did I ever tell you that hoarding is like a pair of running shoes? And you say, what? A pair of running shoes? It's true. Running shoes will take you the distance. And in my personal experience, I've run 29 marathons that are 26.2 miles. So that's a long time to be on the road and you've, you gotta have a really great pair of shoes. Now this is my favorite pair of shoes, right? The thing I like about this shoe is a whole bunch of stuff. It's got a breathable toe box. So it wicks out the moisture so the moisture doesn't stay in your foot when you sweat, which is awesome. And then it has a really durable tread, which grips the road so you get better traction as you run. And then I love the back part, which is the heel support, because the heel support is like double duty and it forces you to stand up straight. So you can't supinate or pronate, which, you know, standing on the outsides of your feet like we love to do, it forces you to stand up straight. Another thing I love about this is the arch. It's got great arch support. And then it also has great shock absorbers. And so when you run and your foot hits the pavement, which is really tough for the skeletal frame, when it hits the pavement, it kind of absorbs the shock. So it's kind of like running on air and it's just really comfortable. When you get to the end of the marathon, your whole body is gonna go, oh, and your feet will say, thank you very much, right? Because you had the right pair of shoes. Now, at some point, and I have to share this with you because it's a really sad moment and it happens to every runner, but the moment comes when you start getting holes in the fabric of your shoe and your, sto your toes start popping through. And then the tread starts to wear off because you've run so many miles and the shock absorbers start going flat and it doesn't provide the support that it once did. And you're like, oh no, but that's my favorite shoe. And we want to hang on to it because we have memories of running races in this shoe and we've run, run races and we've won races in this shoe, right? So we don't want to let go and we want to hang on to it for dear life. But the reality is the shoe served its purpose and now it needs to move on its way, right? Because it no longer does the job it was designed to do. It's not the fact that these are only 30 to 50 bucks for a pair of shoes. They're very inexpensive shoes. That's not the point. The point is we have sentimental value attached to the shoe and because they are so comfortable, we wanna hang on to them. It is our comfort zone. But the reality is if you're gonna win and if you're gonna move forward and if you're gonna do this the right way, you gotta have a shoe that has the right arch support, that has the right shock absorbers, that keeps you from pronating and supinating, that lets your air, your, the feet breathe through the air that's coming through your toes. And it's gotta have a flexible toe box, which is this part right here when your toe hits the road, right? So there are so many things your shoe must do for you if you're gonna survive and thrive in the game of running. Now, hoarding is a lot like the running shoe because we've reached a certain point in our lives where we have stuff. And this stuff is stuff we inherited from family and friends, so it's got the sentimental value. Because we are creative people, there are things we're gonna do with that stuff, right? So it's important to us to hang on to that. And we have this series of beliefs, which is just like the running shoe, that has brought us to a particular moment in time. And so here we are in this moment in time, we're looking around our house and we're going, I don't get it because the belief system that I had was supposed to support me, right? And, and it did for a while, but now I got all this stuff and I'm overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to clean it up. I don't know what to do with this stuff. I, I'm earth conscious. I don't want to throw it into a landfill. So it's just kind of piling up in my house. And I, you know, well, what do I do next? Well, the reality is it's like the running shoe. We're attached to it. So we don't want to let it go. But the reality is we have to change our belief system just like we got to change out the shoe. So it's not that the shoe didn't serve its purpose and bring us on all these races and help us win all these races just like the stuff that has brought you to this point in time. People collect things because it fills a gap in their life or it brings them happiness or they love to shop or it reminds them of the times that they spent with their children every week that they would go shopping together or go to flea markets or whatever. There are reasons people have stuff and they're very good reasons, right? The problem is when it starts to drag us down and it starts to affect other areas of our lives, that's when we have to stop and say, ha, ah, this pair of shoes needs a little bit of renovation. And so we're going to have to change the belief system in order to go the next distance, right? So we're not looking at hoarding as a mental stigma. Um, lots of people will say, well, there's this mental stigma of it being a, a, a mental health issue. Every decision we make in life regards and connects to our mental health, every single decision we make. 
whether it's a business decision, a relationship decision, a decision about our personal well-being, a decision about our home, that all goes back to our mental health and our decisions that we make, right? So it's not that it's this big bad thing that we can't talk about, it's that let's go ahead and admit that we have inherited generations of stuff from our parents and that the world around us has put everything on clearance racks and discounts so that we would buy. Everywhere we look, we're inspired to accumulate more stuff. And then we drive down the road and there's a brand new shiny storage unit going up. And we look at it and we're like, whoa, that would clear out so many rooms in my house. And we get excited about seeing that it's so close to home, right? We've been encouraged to collect stuff, but that's just like the old worn out pair of shoes. It's a belief system that no longer supports us. So if you wanna go on this journey with us, we're going on a group, it's called Hoarding World. And it's not that hoarding is a bad thing, it's just that our world is turning into a world of hoarding. And so if you wanna participate in this challenge with us, come join us. We have a brand new Facebook group and a brand new website that we're putting together to help give you resources to help change the nuances and the belief system that's the old worn out pair of shoes, okay? So it's just a journey that we're going on together. It doesn't mean you're bad or sick or broken or any of those things. What it means is that the belief system you have, the arch support is gone. We just need to get a new arch support and we need to get something that's gonna support the posture of your life as you move forward, okay? So if you're on this journey with us, give us a thumbs up, leave your questions and comments in the notes below. And in the notes below, I have the link to the Facebook group for Hoarding World. Come on over and join us because we're releasing a whole bunch of new resources just for you.